In this section of the course, we'll be working with solids such as G4 that can absorb arsenic from a solution. To demonstrate this, let me make a solution of sodium arsenite, which I'll do in a large beaker, 600 milliliter beaker. I'll add one gram of sodium arsenite and 100 milliliters of water. And you can see that this solution has arsenite ion in it. If I now add some G4, which I'll do in increments of one gram, you can see that as the powder is added, it absorbs arsenic, and so the concentration of arsenite ion decreases. Our overall goal is to quantify the ability of this absorbent to absorb arsenic. And to do that, let me begin by first making a solution of sodium arsenite that has a known concentration. So I'll begin with the initial goal of making 500 milliliters of a solution of sodium arsenite that has a known concentration, which I'll choose to be 0.01 molar. The steps I'll take to do this is first weigh out some sodium arsenite, put this into a volumetric flask, and then add water so I get a solution that's 500 milliliters. So how much sodium arsenite should I use to make this solution? And my goal is to make a 0 0.0100 molar solution, which corresponds to 0.01 moles per liter of solution. That tells me the amount of sodium arsenite I need per liter. What I'd like to do is make 500 milliliters. So to determine the amount I need in a 500 milliliter solution, I start with my quantity of 0 0.01 moles per liter. I multiply by my desired volume of 500 milliliters. And now I have milliliters in the numerator and liters in the denominator. To get these to cancel, I'll need to convert from milliliters to liters using that there are a thousand milliliters in a liter of solution. And so now liters of solution cancels, milliliters of solution cancels, and multiplying this out, I get 0 0.005 moles of sodium arsenite. So I now know the number of moles of sodium arsenite I need to make 500 milliliters of a 0.01 molar solution. But to be able to weigh this out, I need to have that quantity in grams. So I need to convert from moles to grams. And to do that, I'll use the molecular weight. So I need to calculate the molecular weight of sodium arsenite. To do this, sodium has an atomic weight of 22.99. There's one sodium in sodium arsenite. Arsenic has a weight of 74.92, and there's one arsenic. Oxygen has a weight of 16, and there's two, so that gives me 32. If I add these up, I get 129.91. Now that I know the molecular weight of sodium arsenite, I can use it to convert from moles to grams, or from 0 0.005 moles over to the number of grams we need to put in our solution. I do this by taking the quantity 0 0.005 moles, multiplying by the molecular weight. Moles of sodium arsenate now cancel, and I have the quantity 0 0.650 grams of sodium arsenite needed to make 500 milliliters of a 0 0.01 molar solution. To recap, our goal was to make 500 milliliters of 0 0.01 molar sodium arsenite. To do this, we were going to weigh out some amount of sodium arsenite, put it in a volumetric flask, and dilute up to 500 milliliters. 
the calculation we just did tells us what we mean by sum, and by sum we mean way out 0 0.650 grams. So let's go to the lab and do this. I'll pull out the sodium arsenite, and I'll get a 500 milliliter volumetric flask, and I will pour 0 0.650 grams into the flask. Next, I'll dilute this up to 500 milliliters with distilled water. And since there's some solid in this flask, if I were to just add 500 milliliters of water, the solution volume might not be 500 milliliters because mixing water with powder, the solution volume won't necessarily be the volume of the water. So I'll start by adding 499 milliliters. And you can see the meniscus compared to the 500 milliliter mark. I'm slightly below it. So I'll now add in increments of 0 0.1 milliliters. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm getting close. So that was 500 milliliters of solution. My goal was to make a 0.01 molar solution of sodium arsenite, and you can see I've done that. Here is 1 times 10 to the minus 2, which is 0.01. If you look back at our calculation, we were carrying three significant figures through this calculation, and so it's not surprising that our concentration is 0.01 to three significant figures. Finally, I will label this solution using the rename option, which is available on the right-click menu. And I'll name it 0 0.01 molar sodium arsenite.